Hey guys, welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. It is I, the Journey. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, today we are talking about burial and how burying the dead is actually not our way of doing it. You know, not the wrong way, you know, because it's the right way for some people. It's the right way for some beings. You know, that's how they do it, and there's a reason why beings do. Um, there's different ways of the you know trans transition there are different ways of transition from one state to another you know from one state to another matter because we are matter right so lower dimensional beings now which are you don't know who are they beings of beings that exist in the lower dimensions on the physical planes because there are beings who exist on only physical planes, you know, not all beings are spiritual beings. Yes, all beings are, all beings have a spiritual form, but not all beings exist in that state, you know. It is a whole thing, peeps, and... Alright, listen, listen, I go. Some beings exist mostly in just 3D form, that's what they spend most of their lifetime, in a 3D. Some beings are more spiritual, beings that exist from dimensions to from dimensions from dimensions six upwards from the sixth dimension upwards those beings are mostly spiritual beings now beings that exist below the sixth dimension they might go have a physical existence right and to earth a body means to bury it so when you bury a body you're actually earthing it you're grounding the body and based upon the laws of vibration, it states say uh, if you put the being in the ground, you have to put the being in a reincarnation trap. You literally trap the soul to that dimension. When you put a body in the ground, you trap the being to this dimension. Simply means uh, when earth beings put a body in the earth, we are earthing that being. That being, you know? We are Put him, we are put him back in the, recycle, the, the incarnation cycle of the earth because his spirit get grounded, him, him can't go nowhere. I say, if get warm, I say, I get beings we're called uh, the fucking thing, beings that are called demons, no, not even demons, like dopey, Jamaican people call it dopey, wandering spirits. Yeah, some beings can transition that way and get stuck in the reincarnation trap because I tell you, beings have different levels of consciousness. Beings where exist in a more mostly physical, we are not spiritual beings. It bad for spiritual beings to get buried. You know, if you bury a spiritual being, you have to trap the spirit to this realm. And we don't want to do that. They don't want to trap a spirit in this realm because you're gonna make it miserable. It's not home. You know? So when you put the being in this in the fucking earth, you actually have put him in a reincarnation, you know, trap. You are trapping you are trapping being to be recycled back to the earth. Because in there you put him, you know, you put him on the earth, his spirit can't leave. You know, the being literally cannot leave the earth if you if you bury it. He can't transcend because him higher self them, the dimensions them where him exist in a you put him in a you trap him in a dimension where they wheel lower than the dimensions them where him truly exists in a so him not him home him true self, which is probably in the ninth dimension. You know, him, him can't connect him. The true self probably I wonder like where this being them lose connection, he can't do it. You just have to disconnect from your true self completely and stuck in a loop and make your, your higher self actually have to find you back somewhere in the universe somehow. You get what I say? So it's a very dangerous thing, people, and the weird how the fucking world turn upside down. You know? People start burying. Burial is not for black people. And most, most black people are high dimensional beings. You know, exist in a dimension past the six, above the six dimension. So, most black people not for bury the body for burn. Why you think they used to burn the body then? Why you think so? Hmm? There's a reason why we do things. Black people don't just get up and do things. We're very deep people. There's a reason why we do things the way we do it. You know? And there's a reason why other beings do things the way they do it too. You know, for lower dimensional beings, burial is the process where they use because they must say burial is the way our reincarnation work. You bury the being because you want him soul to be you want him energy for being recycled back in the um in other matrix here, yeah, where you put him, you know, <laughs> look. In order for the being transcend and go where he come from back. 
if he was coming from a higher dimension, you need to burn him body if he go back to that higher dimension. Eh? Because, you know, and whatever you left the bones, the ashes from the bones and the flesh, you leave it back on the earth. So you can bury that, you can throw it in the water, you can just scatter it in the air. Whatever you do with it, that anchors his ancestral spirit here on this in this realm. Because he must leave a part of himself here. You get to me, I say? So that's the purpose, you know. If you want to leave a part of him here, because a part of him exists here, a part of him is this, a part of the being is the 3D, is the physical. You get to me, I say? So if you want to leave the ancestral spirit, because remember, this. The energy is not just made up of one being. The energy is made up of all your lifetime. Them. Every single experience we ever have, it builds your auric field. So the more lifetimes you have, the bigger your auric field. The more dimensions you, you transcend, the bigger your auric field get. Because you exist in multiple dimensions. We are multidimensional beings. You know? So now, you cannot bury a being. You know? It's it just not safe. It just don't safe. And most black people, enough black people are higher dimensional beings. You know, so in order to fucking make the being transcend, make the being go back home, where am I come from? You need to fucking burn, and then burn the being, burn the body, and then you leave, the, take the ashes now, and you can bury the ashes, you can throw it in the wind, do whatever, throw it in the water, whatever. The ashes actually um, anchors the fucking the ancestral spirit, so that we can guide with children and grandchildren and great grandchildren in the astral plane because every planet has an astral plane the astral plane of the earth is what we call the ancestral plane where the ancestral spirit the ancestral part of you the earthly part of you you know so after me transcend the earthly being here a part of me the being here i'm gonna live here so as a teacher to guide my children and my generation you know when me transcend to the next dimension you know so that's about burial people. Stop burying the dead and stop putting them on ice and them shit dead. You know, we have much more to talk about with proper way of burying the dead, um, where they return the furniture in the house, all of them little, you know, deep stuff that we, our people, you know, realize and realize that there's a way to life. There's not just, you can't just get up and do things. You know, there's a way how things are done. And we understood that and we, are, we still understand it. We're going to help you understand it now. You know, so big up. The Journey YouTube channel, do not bury your dead. <laughs> you know, we go.